Eagles. Yeah, the Chesney Eagles, four and three on the season, planning a blackout tonight. And 7 News is Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan, at 4.51 in the morning. It is jammed. I know, Chesney is awake. It is not too early for them. Check out these beautiful ladies looking good this morning. And guys, they're back. The signs are back. They're creative. We can't wait to see them and read them and see these ladies all morning. So right now, we're going to go ahead and talk to Coach Hyatt, the athletic director here at Chesney. Guys, we are in such a unique little place. So inside is the gym. To Behind us is the field. But right now, we're at this awesome tailgating area. Coach Hyatt, this is so neat that you guys have this. Is this something that you guys like to use here at Chesney? We try to use it as much as we can. We've used it for some FCA events. And, okay. and then sometimes in the spring, we'll have some student gatherings out here. And they'll play, cool. uh, you know, cornhole. And they'll... Uh, eat and we'll cook out and things like that but it's a nice area to have yeah you were thanking the community too for coming together supporting you as you kind of go forward and always making improvements here at the school and then game day what exactly does that look like for the athletic director do the students get excited does the team get excited for the game tonight well i think the fact that we're winning games this year it's got the kids and the coaches and the kids the, the players excited and for me it's just a pretty busy day it's just yeah. A laundry list of things to do, but our coaches do a good job getting the field ready and they get the team ready, and then our custodians and our they get, get the facility clean, and then it's just putting the flag up, turning the lights on, getting the PA system working. That's pretty much right. the kind of things I get to do. I love it. Okay, now Fred, uh, Tracy, I actually uh, signed you guys up for something a little later. So, uh, Coach, you were telling me you have a little bit of a vacancy you need to fill well, tonight. I got everything covered except uh, our band's leaving today on a, on a competition. So. Uh, we don't have a national anthem singer, and I thought maybe one of your guys could step in yeah. and help us out a little bit tonight. So Fred, Tracy, Malachi, even Emily, if you guys wanted to sing, I signed you guys up. They have to be here. What time? They probably need to be about 7.15. 7.15, so nobody goes to sleep. Everybody's got to be here. So I don't know, you guys rock, paper, scissors it out. Uh, but while you're thinking about that, get back to me. I'm going to let uh, the Chesney cheerleaders here uh, go crazy at 4.30 in the morning. Go ahead, ladies, take it away! They are awesome. We do not sing. I mean, no. I sing by myself in the car. You know, the could, music's really loud. You know, you could hear. seriously do it here, Diane Lee. Yeah, she's an amazing. She singer. is a great. You do singer. not want us no. singing. Call it would Diane. Ruin the game. She might be up any time now. Thank you, Christine. Chesney High School, where the Eagles getting ready to take on the Blacksburg Wildcats tonight. Yeah, get ready for the noise. Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan, are live with a crowd this morning. Hey guys. Tracy, look at these guys. It's not one of the most fun crowds we've ever had. We've got the signs, which I love. They're black out black for tonight. Four and three on the season. The Eagle right here in front of us. Very popular with the students we love. And so now we're going to talk to the student council. Will you guys hold it down for just a second? I want to make sure we can hear what Grace and Seth are saying. Guys, we have so much to show you this hit. So we'll go ahead and start with Grace. We love that you guys, student council, student body president, uh, senior class president, Seth, very cool. What do you guys um, do here at the school? I know Grace was just saying, we're like family. It's like one big family. We all work together to do what? We serve and we give back to our community. It's one big family, like I said, and I'm so excited that we're all here right now. Okay, Miracle League, it sounds like you guys help with that. Yes, we do. We have a relay for life, and so in about two weeks, we'll be earning some money, and all that money goes towards cancer research. Okay, and yes. then how about the, there was one more thing, Seth, you were talking about you help with in the spring. Uh, uh, the Special Olympics, we all, in the student council, help with that, and it's just any help we can get, I mean, any help we can do, uh, give, we do. Yeah. So whatever they need, we do. And Seth had a really good idea. So I said, how can the community help with the Relay for Life, right? And then Seth said, you just, just do what? Just give. Just give, right? He said, send blank checks. <laughs> just blank checks. Just send them to Chesney High School. I love it. Very good. That was a good idea, Seth. Um, Seth, you and your friends also part of the football team, right? you got a big game coming up tonight. Yes, ma'am. Very good. All right, if people are looking for a game to go to, why should they come here to Chesney? Because it's Eagle football. It's the best best team of the year. I mean, best team in the in the state. Yeah, in the state. 
Let's see these jerseys. You want to show them off for me? All right, we got look for number six. Very good. Number 15 and number 24. We got some representatives out here. I love it. Very good. Cheerleaders, of course, this morning, guys, you know the signs. Always our favorite part. We got to see some of these. Some of these are so fantastic. I love the sparkles. Very good. Again, student council over here. We got a lot of student body. Black and out Blacksburg. And then here's the fun thing Malachi. We actually have a, a meteorologist here. Grace wants to be just like you. <laughs> she says she's shadowed Christy. So, do you want to maybe go ahead and give us a game day forecast? What do you think the weather's going to be tonight? It's going to be sunny with a chance of Eagle football. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a play, guys. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Well done. Man. I just hope they can hang on because the game doesn't start for 14 more hours. Woo. Once again, we apologize, teachers, later in the school well, day. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be dragging about fourth or Good fifth Good stuff period. this morning. Looking forward to see what else we have. Christine photographer <laughs> Ryan, and hundreds are there. Hi, Christine. You guys, an unbelievable crowd here at Chesney High School. I think just about everybody's up and ready to go. All right. This hit is a big one. I know you guys are talking about some pep rally at Clemson, but I... I don't think so. Not here in Spartanburg County. We're looking at Chesney High School as they get ready for their big game tonight against Blacksburg. You're going to see a lot of people in black here this morning. They are going to have a blackout against Blacksburg. They're 4-3 on the season, so they're hoping for a big game, obviously, and a win. This hit, we're going to feature the cheerleaders and the band. First, though, Fred Tracy, we have a little gift for you. So from FCA and everybody here at Chesney High School, cake pops for our anchors. These guys are from them Yay! to you. We hope they make it back cool. to you. I'm going to do the best I can. Ryan and I will hold ourselves back and try not to finish them all. Thank you, Emily. Great no job. We love it. We appreciate that. Now I'm going to head over to Lauren. Lauren here with the cheerleaders. I love it. Varsity Chesney. Hi. Glad to have you guys. You guys are not just making the crowd go crazy on Friday night mm -hmm. for football, but you're also competing weekly. Yes. Tell me what that yes, looks like we here. Do. Well, we prepared since April. We compete in a 3A division and we're really a, true a, a 2A school. Um, we competed at Woodruff on Monday and actually won our first on competition. Monday. Yes, this Monday. Yeah. We compete. Some days are throughout the week, which is weekdays, and then most of the time they're on Saturdays. Um, tomorrow, we actually travel to River Bluff and compete in our 3A division. River Bluff near Columbia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Way yeah. to go. Okay, good. Is that something that's fun? Do you guys do you yes. take pride in that? Yes, we enjoy it so much. We practice every single day, four hours a day. We work oh, hard all the goodness. time. Yes, we enjoy it very much. Ladies, I give you a lot of credit. We're going to see you perform in just a second. Right now, i got to talk to Maggie and Justin over here with the band. Glad to have you guys, the Marching Eagles. Uh, why band? I know you guys are competing. You're headed off soon, right? Yes, we are. We're going to the beach, very leaving at 8.30 this morning. Very good. And, and you do what in the band? What do you play? I play alto saxophone. Why? Because the music's my passion. I just love it. Wonderful. Maggie, how about you? What's your role here in the band? Um, I am the drum major. Ah, very big deal. I love it. What do you love about competing? Um, I, was, I just love the performance and being able to show everyone the hard work that we put in. I like that. All right, speaking of performance, should we go ahead and let them do their thing? I'd love to go ahead and let you guys take it away. How about that? All right, guys, here's the Marching Eagles. Let's hear from them now. It really will. This, their turnout has been awesome today. Good job, guys. Yep. And they well still got a couple done. hours to go, too. Yeah, on the CW. Much yeah. more to come. Thanks, Christine and Ryan. Getting ready to All take right. on the Blacksburg Wildcats tonight. And these kids are up yeah. already. Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan, with a crowd at Chesney High School. Hey, guys. Hey, Fred, Tracy, Emily Malachi. Good morning. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Tonight. Look, this is the game that they really want to win. Doing a good job. You can see JV right here. They won yesterday. They, these guys actually said JV did a great job yesterday, right? You guys were telling yeah. me? 
They yeah. killed him. Whooped him bad. Whooped him bad. That's right. Very yeah. good. I love it. Okay, so JV1, Hope and Varsity can do the same. Now, I want to introduce you to a really great group here at Chesney. Very unique. All right, go ahead and tell me who you're with. All right, good morning. We're in fact Chesney High, and we're here to bring awareness to substance use in our community and to overall make our community a better place. Make your community a better place. I would say that's a pretty good idea. Now, what exactly does that look like here at Chesney? I'm sure you guys participate in a lot of different things. We participate in a lot of different activities involving the school. Mostly, we are here to promote drug-free substance abuse, and we don't. We're trying to encourage the drug drug-free. Yeah. So we do videos. We're planning on making a future video about yeah, like being like a PSA kind of, like to yeah. encourage others to be drug-free. What's it going to look like? Um, we are. Mostly right now, it's in the running stages yes. of like just planning it. The beginning stages. Very but good. we're probably going to have like personal testimonies of drug abuses from possible people in the community. Wow! So see, and this is another really cool way they get the community involved. Now, Zach, you were telling me you even have a connection to Spartanburg, right? Um, yes, ma'am. We actually work with the Forester Center that's based out of Spartanburg, and they have the um, they have the Impact Spartanburg group. And we're a subset based off of that, and they actually worked with District 2 and just provide us with a lot of the materials and funding that we need to um, bring awareness to the community. You know, that tends to happen with a, maybe a bit of a smaller school. You guys actually do work a lot with the community. Even this space, we're at kind of a tailgating spot outside. This was even kind of helped make possible by the community. Impact Chesney, guys. I love it. Appreciate the good things you guys are doing. Also, I want to make sure to mention these guys have breakfast out here. We're talking biscuits, some really yummy treats. And Ashley was actually showing me this. Fred Tracy, check this out. We've got Eagle Cake Pops. Ashley, who made these? Um, Jeannie Dobson. She does cakes in the Chesney community. Um, she's the one that made these for us today. I love it. Okay, photographer Ryan and I may or may not have had one. We can approve. They're amazing. Uh, these guys, these are amazing. You should make them for the game. Maybe sell them. We can there get we some go. more money, yeah. right? It's a yeah. pretty good idea. We'll come to that. Biscuits, too. Yeah. Who, where these are from Hardy? These are from Hardy's. Um, they have a great partnership with us. Um, Bruce, our youth pastor, um, one of our youth pastors got these for us. Um, we try to get the kids breakfast, get them out here, get them going. It's early, so they need they need okay. the, all the fuel they can get to make it through the day. Ashley, I love it. We got bands going to compete after this. They showed up bright and early. They're getting on a bus. Cheerleaders are competing tomorrow. Give me a preview, guys. What are we getting here? That was Christine bringing out hundreds at Chesney High School. Take on the Blacksburg Wildcats, and our hype woman, Christine Scarpelli, is there with. Photographer Ryan with a crowd. Hey, Christine. Hey, guys. Good morning. I have no hearing left, so I hope this comes out okay. These guys, the Marching Eagles, high school marching band here at Chesney High. Man, are they ready to go? They came out full force this morning. They sound good, and they're actually leaving soon for a competition at the beach. So, guys, we're gonna hear from you in just a second. We're going to go ahead and simmer down just for a second so we can talk to Akeem. He's actually the band director here at Chesney High School. Akeem, tell me, these guys look so excited to be up. You, you guys were here pretty darn early. You sound great. This is not the only thing you have to do today, right? Oh, no. It's not the only thing we have to do today. <laughs> we are going to load buses here shortly and go to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for a competition. Wow, is this something you guys do weekly, monthly? What, how often do you do this? We do about six competitions a year, uh, starting at the end of September all the way through the end of October. Oh, wow, so right in that busy season. So oh, yeah. you guys are kind of balancing this with what, high school football as well? Football every Friday night, and of course they go to school during the day and homework and things like that. Uh, we got some that do other activities, uh, student government, some on the swim team and things like that. So yeah, it's a lot. Wow, I like it. Very good. And then game day, are you guys just excited? Do you like to work with the crowd? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. Definitely. All right, so if people are looking for a game tonight, they should go ahead and come here to Chesney High, you think? Yes, they should. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and hear from you guys. I would love to hear what you're going to maybe play tonight, what you're going to compete with. Let's go ahead and let them take it away, guys. Back to you. They've been getting us pumped this morning. They really have been. Man, they've been so good today. We are and loving it. Thank you, Christine. Got 90 minutes to go. That's yeah. great. Emily is here now. Yeah, th this has been a huge turnout this morning. Uh, Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan, are there. We, we can barely hear you at times. It's been so loud. <laughs> I know it is so loud. 
<laughs> but that is because Chesney is so excited. Man, it's a big game tonight here against Blacksburg. So these guys, four and three on the season, won a lot of games so far. Guys, a lot of seniors we're learning on this team. They're blacking out against Blacksburg, so they've got their black on. You can see a lot of them this morning. Except for the ones in the white, you guys saw them making a lot of noise a little bit earlier. That's the JV team undefeated, won a lot of games. They're pretty excited too, a lot of them, because they will be moving up next year. But now let's go ahead and talk to these varsity football players. Guys, looking good this morning. I know you're excited because thank you. Thank you. And they're polite, very kind. Guys, listen, uh, you're getting serious this morning because you've got a big game tonight. We know four and three looking to pull out another win. Obviously, what does game day look like to you guys? Uh, usually, we have to go to school and then we go eat as a team. We go watch film and we warm up as a team. And then afterwards, we go up to the field house and get our mind ready for the game. Very good. A lot of seniors on this team. And you kept saying, as a team, as a team. So it sounds like you guys working together all throughout the years as you played together? Yes, ma'am. Throughout the years, I think we've grown tighter together. And this is going to be our best year. Because last year, we finished 5-5. Five and five, And I think this year, we're the same people back together. And we're just grown in uh, skills and just men in together. Very good. I like it. Okay, so you get here early in the morning, right? You have some breakfast together. How about right before the game? What's what's going through your mind? Uh, just gotta get ready for the opponent and uh, go over the film that we studied all week. Yeah. That's about all we do. All Listen right. to some music. We got a lot of people watching this morning, and they're wondering what game should I go see tonight? Why come here to Chesney? Because we're gonna win. Oh, because they're gonna win. Well, you're gonna have to have some support to win, right, guys? So can I hear how loud you guys want to be tonight? Yeah. Again, let's see what's going They just finished up with their pep rally mm -hmm. this morning. I mean, it, it looked like the entire school came out. I think they were all there. Christine Scarpelli, photographer. Ryan still are. Still a few bodies in that gym. Hi mm -hmm. there, Christine. The energy here is unbelievable. Check out wow. the pep rally oh. going on right now. I think there's a massive Cotton Eye Joe uh, party going on down here in the gymnasium. The student body is here. They're ready to go for this game. Tonight against Blacksburg, you can see guys, a lot of them wearing black. That's the blackout for Blacksburg. So they expect you, if you're going to come to this game tonight, come on down, wear your black, support Chesney. We have had just a blast with these guys this morning. Have you had, have you seen a school that rallies around each other more than a, a long conga line? Anyway, let's talk about the book club. It's important. We're going to talk to Miss Ray here this morning, who is talking about. Reading, but also how to motivate others to read well. All right, who are we standing next to? Hi, I'm Shana Ray. I'm the media specialist here at Chesney High School. This is Adam McAbee, one of our teachers. Deb Ezel, another teacher. Ellie, a student. Jalen, a student. And Mac. I love it. How do you get guys to read here? <laughs> Food, we found out, is the key to everything. Um, we give them lots of choices. We feel like that's key. Uh, every month we have different books for guys and girls. We have about 50 different book choices that we put out for each of them. They get to pick which book they want to read, and then they get a month to read it. But the way we motivate them is by cooking for them. Uh, last week we did a nacho bar for the girls and had a giant fiesta with uh, sombreros and a photo booth. And also lots of great giveaways. We give away um, t-shirts and cups and gift cards. And the incentives are all there, and they go for it. They read here at Chesney. We love it. They almost have half the student body involved in this, guys. Great job. That's very motivating for other teachers. Fred, Tracy, Malachi, Emily, we will leave you with this shot of Chesney High as they get ready again for their game tonight against Blacksburg. All right, guys. Back to Christine you. Christine Scarpelli, you still got a voice this morning? Oh, you're in the guys, gym now. Guys, they're having a WSBA High School Red Zone pep rally Whoa. this morning. Oh, my gosh. Check this out. Look at these guys. I mean, every member of the student body here, they're getting ready for their big game against Blacksburg tonight. This team, four and three, you can see them down there in the corner with the cheerleaders all the way down, getting ready to come out in front of the school. Guys, this is a big deal. And check out this sign, Malachi and Christy. We have got to show you this. Look what they made for you guys. Predict a 100% chance of pounding. 
I'm telling you, these guys are serious. But we want to make sure we give Principal Ezell a chance to speak this morning because you have something really important to say. This is a very community oriented school. You even went to school here, I'm sure, just a mere couple of years ago. I mean, because you're so young uh, and stunning, and you do such a great job. This guy jumping around just like the cheerleaders this morning. I'm so impressed. Uh, it's such a cool thing here. But you guys stay again close to the community, right? Yes, well, it's uh, a very close knit school, and uh, it's good to know the community. And I'd like to this time thank our students and our faculty and staff for coming out and, and doing this this morning. It's been a great event for Chesney High School. And I'd uh, like to invite all of our Eagle fans and our community to the ball game tonight, as well as our Wildcat fans uh, from across the Cherokee County. All right, so you're welcoming both teams this morning. It doesn't matter who you're rooting for, you can still welcome them here to Chesney? Yes, we it should be a great ball game tonight. And Come on out and support the team. I love it. Absolutely. You can tell the support that your school gives because check this out. Really, everybody here bright and early this morning, guys. You saw them here, all the different school groups. Look at this. Doing a great job jumping around first thing in the morning. And, of course, we need some good weather, guys. What can we do? Look at that. 